Hey, what's up interwebs? I'm that toy guy and today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Robots in Disguise Warrior Class Power Surge Optimus Prime. So here he is and first we'll take a look at the box and thank you Sears for, you know, crushing the box. I bought this at a Sears. Yes, they're still in business. And um, he was on the floor underneath the shelf and this was like all crunched up and stuff and... I like to keep my boxes because sometimes I like to, so obviously people sell their figures and if you sell them with the box, people will pay more. So I try to keep the box and boxes in as best condition and if whenever and if ever I decide to sell a toy, I have the box. But they kind of sort of ruined that so I went ahead and tore the box myself. <laughs> but on the back you have Prime, Vehicle Mode, Alt Mode. Um, instructions, application instructions as well. Front, you have Prime. Free scan, by the way, if it works. Uh, name of the franchise, you have the new little like yellow weaponizer sort of thing going on there. And yeah, and yes, this was $20 because deluxes are $20 plus in Canada. But yeah, box. So here we have Warrior Class Prime, and I never got the original Warrior Class Prime figure or the blue V-Paint one because I didn't like the way they looked. I don't like the look of that mold. I still don't really like this mold, but I did get this guy mostly for the paint and the new accessories he came with. They're great for customizing, so I mean, I might use them as that later on, but just keep the core body. But here is Prime in his truck mode. I don't have the original Prime, obviously, I just said that, so I can't compare that this to him. But I can compare it to Evasion Mode Prime, well, my repainted Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. So there he is next to that. Right there. So you can see. Two Optimus Primes. I did paint this dude to look rustier, and I'm almost finished, I just need to work on the back end. Anyway, I'm here to look at this. So, just get up and clo up close here so you can see some of the detail. He does have a nice dark metallic silver for the grill. I do like that. And you have some black on the windshield there. Some red striping down here and some paint on the top. And that is it for vehicle mode paint. The rest is just resin cast plastic. And this has got that weird marbleization to it, so if you don't like that, you probably won't like this toy. Gas cans, not painted. I could probably paint them myself. Same with the hubcaps and a couple other fine details. I can do that myself, no problem. So I don't have a problem with that. Other people might because you want your figures to look nice. And this guy looks terrible. So I would recommend buying repro labels for this guy. But yeah, as you can see, he's a truck and he's a cab and trailer, which means he does not fit to scale with anything other than maybe a MicroMaster. But yeah, accessory-wise, he comes with one of these, one of these, and two of these. Now, all of these can store on the vehicle mode. Now, this entire top piece up here was remolded. Well, the entire torso actually was, re was remolded along with these pieces to accommodate for the new accessories. So you do have two ports right there and this thing. And there are two pegs right at the bottom there. And they just peg right into those slots, just like so. That is the best kept storage on this guy. Everything else juts out. So you wanna take these blade wing pieces and these tabs will tab into these ports right here. Now they're not five millimeter, so they won't fit properly in anything else's hand. And this is five millimeter, and it doesn't go in this hole. So, yeah. You can just, oh, wrong way. You can just take these and peg them in. Just like that. Then you take the ax and there's two notches right there and two notches sticking out right here. You take the ax, you line that up somehow and tab it in place and there you have everything else stored on the truck and it looks ridiculous that looks utterly ridiculous but you can roll with all this stuff with that thing underneath because it still provides clearance so 
and just for fun, because I haven't done this in a while. So yeah, I don't know what else there is to say about this guy other than, you know, free scan. If you guys want to scan that for the app, because I stopped playing that game about a week after it came out, because I didn't like it. It was terrible. But yeah, so um, I guess there's nothing left to do but to transform him. So to do that, you can leave the wings on. I'm not going to. That's about it. You have to take the axe and this thing out, so... There's the axe. Um, let's take the wings off, just like so. Take off the turbines. And now you're ready to get him transformed. So the first thing, now if you have the original version of this guy, there's no difference. Absolutely no difference. Even though he's been remolded, there's literally no difference. So to start with, you want to take these two side panels here, unpeg them, and fold them down, and they will peg in. And you want to split the legs. Take the waist and rotate it 180 degrees, and there you have the legs all done. Next thing you want to do is you want to come up here, make sure your camera's not crooked. You want to come up here, you want to split this section, bring it down, rotate at the shoulder, unpeg the hands and bring them down, just like so. Rotate the shoulder pads, and flip up the head. And there you have Optimus Prime in his robot mode. And it's it's interesting. Does look a lot, well the silhouette at least, looks a lot like the TV show. Big, huge, thick, chunky legs. Tiny torso, weird proportion arms, huge shoulder pads. Does look a lot like that Optimus Prime. And he does have quite a clean transformation other than these bits of kibble sticking off here. Which, I don't know if they did, I'm pretty sure they did on the original. But these ones don't rotate at all, they just stay in that spot. But yeah, overall, robot mode, nah, it's okay. Mine is a little loose in the knee, like this one just like flops around all over the place. And his hips are loose as well, and the thigh swivels are loose. And don't like that. I have tried to tighten them up, but it's very hard to get in to the back here. Because you have to undo the whole torso, undo this, and then... So I haven't done that. I did try and tighten up the thigh swivels though by popping that pin out. <clears throat> but that's really about it for trying to tighten things that I've done. Now, I will say this. His articulation is bad. Is very bad. It's about on par with one of these. Now these things are bad when it comes to posability and general standing. I just left a mark on the wall. <laughs> I'll fix that later. This guy is kind of like that joker there. So his head can look that far and that far, respectively. Shoulders can do a full 360. They can go out on this very weird angle. Then you can't move the shoulder very much. And it looks awkward and he knocks himself in the head all the time. But he does have ball jointed elbows, which is okay, I guess, for a deluxe. I still hate ball joints, but I mean, they can't bend that far, so that's good. Waist joint he has, but due to the transformation, it does do that whole, like, that whole uh, Prime Voyager Starscream, the Vi Prime Voyage, no, Prime Deluxe Starscream thing, where the waist does this when you rotate it, and it's, it kind of goes off kilter and looks kind of stupid. Legs can go forward, they can go back, they can go out, he does have a thigh swivel, he does have a knee joint, although it doesn't look like it accomplish, accomplishes much. And nothing at the feet. So he can, you can't really get him into any really good poses unless you have like a flight stand. And I guess you could position him like this. On the flight stand with the wings or something. Just like, I have power or something like that. I don't know. Anywho. <clears throat> excuse me. These things. All of his accessories. Do have places to go. This thing is jet boosters and the three pegs, there's three actually on the bottom. One of them goes in the back there and the two go into the shoulders. So you just plump, plonk it on like that. I can't speak English. You want to take the wings and plug them back in if you took them off. If not, then you just fold them out. 
But yeah, then you have his wings, just like so, and then his axe goes in his hand. There you have Prime, all powered up and looking stupid still. Um, Detail-wise, though, I do like that head sculpt. That is a very, very cool Prime head sculpt. Although he does look half asleep. But that could just be due to the fact that the paint on his eyes is very, very thin. I could probably just put some more on there and make him not look half asleep. You, you just get in there with a fine brush and just put some more blue in there. That'll probably fix that issue. But yeah, overall, I do like the new remolded chest. I like that a lot. Could use some more white paint though. I mean, the blue, I don't know how well it's coming off, but the blue is starting to bleed through, like around there and up here. But the white doesn't continue on, it just stops. And then it's just cast blue plastic. You do have these tampographed on his arms and on his legs too. You got the white stripe going down across and it goes almost all the way around, which I do quite appreciate. Then he has some silver for the feet. The silver also could have used another coat if you can see that there, it's a little sloppy and a little bit see-through. But yeah, other than that, that's about it for paint-wise that you see in robot mode. Now, for a comparison, here he is with Skydive. And this Skydive is also slightly broken, so that's why I didn't have him in vehicle mode. I have to fix him. The head's doing some stupid thing again, and the, um... If you, don't, can't, if you haven't seen, the nose cone has started to crack as well. And this falls off a lot, so I gotta fix that. But yeah, here he is next to a Combiner Wars Deluxe, more of like a recent Deluxe. And it's a little shorter, but, and the plastic doesn't feel the same as it does on this. Like this plastic feels sturdier and thicker than this dude. I mean, like, I can flex this. I don't know how well it's coming off, but I can really flex that. And I don't like it like that. It feels all hollow and light and eh, it doesn't have a, it feels sort of like uh, something Jinbao would produce like back in the day when they first started producing like their Predaking. I've, I don't own it, but I've messed around with it. And this kind of feels like that sort of plastic to me. So yeah, keep that in consideration when you buy your Optimus Prime. But if you do want to get an RID Prime that's cheap, that has articulation, detail, and looks good, out of the, th the three or four different repaints of this guy we've gotten, I'd say get this one. It, to me, is, a, is probably the best looking one of the, excuse me, of the three or four we've gotten. So yeah, that has been my look at the Transformers RID um, Robots in Disguise. Warrior Class, a Power Surge Optimus Prime, and I'm that toy guy, and stay tuned for my next video.